Happy Saturday. Hope everybody's doing well. Today we are giving you a bonus episode about is the goal really the point when you're setting your goals, expectations? Sit back and relax and enjoy. You're listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast, where we show you how to do life and business confident, focused, and with a plan so that you can make more money, have more free time, and less stress. Your host, Wayne Withersby, will uncover actionable hacks, strategies, tips, and insights you can use today to live a better, more productive life. It's time to boost your mindset, confidence, and your attitude. Here's your host, Coach Wayne. So when we're setting our goals, most of us like to think big, right? Most of us would like a newer car, bigger house. Maybe you aspire to run a marathon or climb a mountain. If you were instantly teleported, let's say, to the top of Mount Everest, you wouldn't be happy or fulfilled as if you had actually climbed the mountain. See where I'm going? Our goals are more than just things we want to have or achieve. There's a lot more to it. You might think that you'd like to have a magic genie, right? Have a genie at your disposal. But would it be a lot less enjoyable I think, than what you think it would be. There's more than meets the eye when it comes to your goals and expectations. Because here's what I want you to consider. If you'd like to have everything you'd want just magically appear, would you find that satisfying? If you're like most people, including myself, you have a long list of things you'd like to see, have, or do. So imagine you could just suddenly snap your fingers and be wealthy and play the piano and see Paris and lose 30 pounds and have a successful business and be married to the perfect ideal dream guy or girl. Imagine that you ask yourself how that would feel. If what you really want is to simply have all those things, you'd jump at the, at the deal right now. However, you probably aren't that excited when it's presented this way. The process of achieving something might be more important to you. Growing a business and finding your perfect romantic partner and figuring out how to become wealthy, and that's all part of the journey. Things don't mean as much if you don't work for them. How do you feel the day after you know, completing a goal or a task that's important. Think about a big goal that you've achieved. It might be a landing a particular job or graduating from college or seeing Hawaii or Paris. How do you feel shortly after it was over? See, soon after your great successes, you probably felt surprisingly blah about the whole deal. Let me ask you, why do you think that is? It's like Christmas morning, right? You can't wait to open up all the presents. It's over in 10 minutes, and then it's just kind of like, blah. Is it the struggle that matters to you? Maybe the struggle is what appeals to you. Maybe It does me. Maybe it's not winning, but putting in the time, the sweat, and the tears. That it takes it to make it all worthwhile. Maybe it's the thrill of overcoming a challenge. You certainly don't experience that when you don't have to work for something. Is it the personal growth that matters? Achieving goals is satisfying. Is having a successful business exciting? Or is it the learning the new skills and developing that perfect sales pitch and marketing plan that become new and improved version of you, yourself, and your business? To achieve big goal, you got to grow and develop yourself. Is that what really appeals to you? It does me. Struggling leads to learning. A new car is just handed to you. 
You lost an opportunity to learn how to earn and save and invest your money. When you face challenges, you're forced to learn. Either you study or you make mistakes and you, cor- and you correct them. Both are forms of learning. Think about all the things that you've achieved. Now imagine all of those things had just been handed to you. How does that make you feel? Would you still be the same person if you'd lost 50 pounds by waving a magic wand versus changing your diet and working hard at the gym? Probably not. We get more from achieving our goals than just the end result. Our goals are a way to struggle and grow. That's why we set expectations along with those goals. Goals provide a sense of accomplishment. And when they require work and effort to achieve, self-confidence and self-esteem grow. It's a byproduct. You can't help it. Having something handed to you is nice, but delivers a whole lot less meaning. So avoid wishing for good luck or avoid wishing for more money. Right? Wishing and hoping are not a strategy. Instead, if you're going to wish for something, wish to be stronger and more determined. Wish that you'll have more action and more positive attitude. Remember, achieving it's fantastic, but the goal itself really isn't the point. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Be safe, take care, sell a bunch, and say something nice to somebody. You've been listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast. Please hit the subscribe and notification of new episodes button and visit us on social media like Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok for bonus content.